This here, folks, is a prototype head torch that Flextail sent me back in the summer. When I went out to test it, I discovered that it had one fundamental flaw, that the light was escaping out the bottom of the head torch, partially blinding me during use. So this almost rendered it useless. But I don't know if you can make out there, you can see that I put a little bit of electrical tape in the bottom and that instantly solved the issue. So I fed that back to Flextail. Lo and behold, four months later, they have sent me the new replacement. This is the Flextail Helio 600Z. And the reason they call it the 600Z is it pumps out 600 lumens when it's at its max. So you'll see there folks, there's two buttons on the head torch. You've got your spot mode and you've got the flood mode. So what we do now is you just double click on the spot mode and that turns on the brightest light you've got available. And if you press it one more time, that just lowers the brightness slightly. And then you press it again, that turns it off. And then the same for the flood mode, double press it. So that's the brightest, second brightest, and then you've got the moon mode, which is obviously just for like 10 admin during the night. And then you can turn it off. Now you can also have them on at the same time. And that there is pumping out 600 lumens. And then again, you can just lower that as you please. If you hold it down, this will give you the SOS mode. Press it again, and you've got the flash. Let me just turn it off. If you do the same with the flood mode, hold down that button, you get a nice red beam. So a nice little feature of this head torch, as you'll see here, I've got three LED lights on. That means I've got 75% battery left. Now, if this had a full charge, that would be at 100%. And then if my battery was about to die, you only have one LED light on to indicate 25% or less. At the back, you've got the adjuster for your head strap. And also, you can open this up. Turn this off. Uh, it'll be on this side, Robin. and the battery comes out. You can see here, you can either charge it direct from the battery, or you can plug it into the USB port here. What's good about this is you've, if you've got the zero pump, these have the same batteries in it as well, so you can interchange these if needs be. So as well as fixing the issue of the light escaping from the bottom, Flextail have added another improvement as well, and that's just putting in these little metal eyelets that allows this cord to be far more easily adjustable. It's also got a hinge which goes down to about 60 degrees, I believe. There you go. And this weighs 62 grams. The dust and waterproof rating is IP67. The max range is, I think it's 100 meters at 600 lumens. It's obviously got the type USB charger. At 600 lumens, you'll get about three hours battery use out of this. And if you're just using the moon mode at its lowest, you'll get up to about 50 hours usage. So yeah, that's pretty decent. The battery capacity is 650 milliamps. So now we've got all that out of the way, what we'll do now is I'll show you the footage from last night using this in my local woods. So let's go. You can probably see I've got two head torches on my head. The one on my left, is the Nightcore NU25 Classic. And obviously on the right, I have the Flextail Helio 600Z. And I'm just gonna use the two head torches to give you a comparison. Okay, to start the test, I've got the NU25 on first. This is on the lowest mode, and what I'll do is I'll just swing the camera around. You can't really see much at all. I wouldn't navigate with a low setting. That's obviously for tent admin, etc. Now we'll go in the middle setting. You can see the trees are a bit better now. Don't know if the camera's picking it up. And then we'll go for the full beam now. So that is navigating. It's the brightest mode on the NU25. And I'll just walk towards that tree there. There we go. Right, that's me got the 600Z on now. What I'll do, again, I'll flip the camera around. Now, the 600Z goes on the brightest mode straight away. So I'll just do my slow walk to that tree again. 
then I'll turn it down so that's the middle beam and then so brightest middle and then we'll flip over to the flood beam and that gives you the idea there definitely brighter what I'm doing just now is lighting up the tree canopy for you just to give you an idea these trees are pretty tall you can probably hear I'm upsetting the local Jack does as well. Good girl, you want a treat? Where are you going? You want a treat? Good catch, let's go. I hope you found the footage from my local woods useful and it gave you a good idea of what to expect from the little Helio 600Z. Now to be honest with you, I really can't fault this. If I was to be really picky, and this is being picky, my only gripe is that when you switch it on, the brightest mode comes on first. What I prefer is that the lowest mode comes on and then you work your way up to the brightest. It's a small gripe, that's the only thing I would change on this. Bear in mind, I have been using this um, prototype for about 3-4 months now and I was enjoying using that once I did the DIY fix. But now they've sent me the fixed revised version. This can get relegated to the dog box and I will be using this going forward. So anyways, if you've got any filler questions, please do let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or find it useful, please give me a cheeky thumbs up. Otherwise, I shall catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!